This Saturday on Airsoft Review is brought to you by airsoftclub.com. What's up guys, here with another Adirond Airsoft Review. As you can see here, I have the 33 inch dual gun bag from airsoftclub.com. And this is an upgrade for me from my old gun bag. It was one big pouch and then three little pouches. Whereas this has so many different pouches, I'm gonna have to get more stuff to bring because I don't know if I could really fill all these pouches, all this space in here. You can actually probably fit three guns in here because there's a pocket on the back, which we'll get into later. You can get this for $19 on airsoftclub.com. It's um, made of normal nylon material, uh, nothing fragile or weak about it. You can put in a ton of stuff and it's not gonna break under um, normal conditions. It's got straps on the back to carry it on your back. It has one big strap, it has a carrying handle, it has pouches on the front, tons of space to bring whatever you need to uh, to the game. So let's get into a more in-depth review. All right, so here you guys are with a view of the gun bag. Let me spin this around so the, vel or the zipper is uh, facing you guys. But here you go, as you can see, three pockets on the top, um, basic pockets, nothing too special about them, just pockets, and they have these little Velcro um, straps in them, and uh, elastic straps right here, so you can put stuff in and it won't all bounce around and um, get out of place. With these, you can actually um, put whatever you need in there, and then use the Velcro to secure it in there. So it's not gonna bounce around too much and get damaged. Um, with this one, just open it up. It doesn't open up all the way. Just uh, stuff whatever you need to in there, whether it be goggles, gloves, whatever. You have a nice Velcro patch right here to put on uh, patches if you have a team patch or whatever, or just anything you want really. Moving over to the other side, just another open pouch kind of like this one, just stuff whatever you need in there. Uh, nothing too specific. So one big feature for me was I just liked all these uh, pouches on the top so I could put whatever I wanted to. And the pouches are relatively big, so you can put um, goggles in there, you can put gloves, you can put a couple bottles of BBs, and you're not limited to, limited to one or two things. Uh, moving on, this is the uh, little clip right here. You have two clips to open up the main compartments, um, the actual gun bags. And then here you have your carry handle with a little Velcro um, loop around it to secure it. So you can just open this up and then you can pull apart the two straps. And we'll open up the smaller of the two pouches for the time being. But it opens up all the way around, you can put in um, I'm not sure if this is considered one of the gun bags. I assume it is. This is a, the smaller of the two gun bags, as you can see. Here's the size. Um, so you can fit in, you could probably fit in a P90 or MP5K, or if you have an MP5 with a folding stock, you could fit that in there. Um, but you're not going to fit in um, a regular sized M4 or a full sized AK by any means. But um, this is just nice if you do have some other gear or if you have a smaller gun that you want to fit in there. Uh, maybe you could fit a like a really small shotgun or something. So uh, just nice to have that extra space. And with all these pockets being separated, it's nice because your gear won't all get mixed around and um, possibly scratch itself or scratch each other. Moving on to the biggest pocket. Give them. Yep. Opening this up, you can see I have my UTG, UTG multi-shot shotgun. Um, this was just to keep the bag um, from folding up. The way it was packaged is it was folded on itself several times, so it still has a couple of the creases where it wants to fold. But this is just to keep the bag um, from folding up on itself, as well as to show that you can fit stuff in here. So moving this to the side, you have your basic... Um, big strap to put on your shoulder, um, different from the two straps on the back which I'll show you to use as a backpack, but this is so you can sling it over your shoulder if you want, 
or whatever. Now opening it up you have your big pouch right in here and uh, this is where you put your main weapon if you want to put an M4 in here I'm pretty sure it'll fit an M4. Um, I doubt it will fit a full sized AK but it will fit a um, it will fit an, an AK with a folding stock like mine or with a retractable stock. Um, obviously not with the magazine but lengthwise it will fit. If you do have an, a gun that's slightly larger it does have this convenient um, extra material so you can actually pull this out the side of the bag and it gives you probably another foot of space to fit the barrel of your gun. So you can close your bag up, zip it, and then you still have this extra um, covering on your gun so it's not out in the open. You want your gun completely closed when you're um, transporting it. And so here you have another Velcro strap. You can close that up. You can pull or another zipper. You can pull the zipper all the way up to here. And then you just have another foot on your gun bag. Um, on the end here, you do have a little uh, pull tab kind of thing. So you can tighten this up and keep your gun from falling out. But I think it's really cool that um, this is a feature in here. So you can have a 33 inch gun bag or you can have um, however long this is, however long the gun bag is with this. I think it was like 48 inches. So this is over a foot. But um, I just think it's a really cool feature. And um, just in case you do have a longer gun that would require this. And then you can just fold this up again and put it back in the gun bag. Zip it up and you're good to go. Moving on to the back side of the um, gun bag. Move the strap out of the way. Here you have your two shoulder straps so you can use this as a backpack. You can put your arms through here and um, use it as a backpack. And all these big straps, the uh, shoulder strap and the backpack straps are removable. They have these little clips here that you can just um, detach them with. So if you don't want those, you can easily get rid of them. Finally, we have the last pouch, which is um, on the back. It does get in the way a little bit with um, these straps. It, my guess is it's a way to um, hide these straps if you don't want them, because they're still connected on this side. But you can easily detach it over here, if I can do this for you. But you detach this right here, and then you can stuff these straps into the back. It gives the bag just a cleaner look and it's um, less messy. You don't have a bunch of straps hanging off. You can just sort of uh, tidy it up a little bit. One thing I did notice, or instead of using it to hide these, I figured why not put another gun in there. So taking off this um, little shotgun shell holder thing, I figured why not just slide my other shotgun in there. So if I did want to bring a shotgun, my M3 multi-shot shotgun fits perfectly in there. So now I can bring this shotgun every time I go play and uh, it's not taking up any space in my main two compartments. So um, that's just something I figured I would use this for because it's always good to have a backup gun, especially something like a spring shotgun because it's never going to go out of service unless it breaks. It's not like you need gas for it, you don't need a battery for it, you just need BBs and you're good to go. So um, this is in a way a third pouch for your guns. So you can really hold three guns if you want it. And then you can easily just pull it out if your main weapon goes down. You can pull this out, no problem. And you have a, another backup weapon to go. So thanks for watching, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Remember, you can get this on Airsoft Club for only $19.99, 20 bucks, um, and then shipping isn't that bad. So you can get this for a really cheap price, much cheaper than other pouch or uh, other gun bags in the US. Um, my other gun bag was I think close to $40, and it was really simple, didn't hold much, so uh, this is a much better deal. Wish I went with this in the first place. So thanks for watching, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. 
Thanks for watching, and um, if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments below, or send me a personal message, and I will do my best to reply. Uh, links in the description. See you guys later.